thank you for agreeing to do this first of all. No problem. Um, just going to ask you a few questions about your year nine options. Okay. So I chose four option subjects, which were textiles, graphics, business studies, and German. So, uh, geography, history, French, RE, and art. They were my chosen subjects. Um, I've written down here as well, just to make people laugh, that I actually wanted to drop geography GCSE because I didn't want to do the coursework. And I got my mum to write in a nice little letter saying that I was going to drop geography, and here I am. Um, history, I chose history because we all talked about the whole being a lawyer, solicitor thing, which, you know, obviously we're all going to be. Um, and all the other subjects were just chosen, basically, because I really enjoyed them, so that's good. Well, when I was in year nine, we didn't have as much choice as uh, students have now. So we sort of had our set blocked option, so I had to pick one of the uh, DTs, so I chose graphics, um, I had to choose a humanity, so I went for history, I had to choose a technological subject, so I went from IT, and also I had to choose a language, so the language I decided to choose was French. I did, um, well, yeah, I did, we had to do RE early at my school because it was a church school, so I did RE in year 10, I think I had to do it in year 9, and then the exam was in year 10, so that was out of the way. I might have even done it in year 9, I'm not sure. Anyway, the, I picked history, Spanish, um, geography. I initially did business and then I dropped out after about six weeks and had enough. I didn't really enjoy it and then took art because I, I really liked art. I wasn't particularly good at it necessarily but I liked art a lot. Uh, well at my school, where I went to school, we didn't have as many options as the current year nines do now so I didn't actually get to choose that many. Um, I chose history because we had a choice out of history and geography. Had to do RE because I went to a Catholic school. Um, and I chose PE, that was the other option I got to chose, uh, choose. Sorry. So from textiles and graphics we had to design um, a various number of clothing um, so we learned a lot of creativity um, in doing that. The second um, thing that we had to do was in graphics where we did a lot of project work so that required a lot of patience um, we had to design lettering, so we had to be very meticulous in what um, um, skills we were learning on that and also the kind of project ideas we were doing, so we had to do a lot of group work as well. Mm -hmm. um, in business studies, we, I learned a lot of numerical skills from drawing graphs, from profit and loss accounts to break even. We did a lot of group work as well, um, individual presentations, and not only did we do them in class, we also had to do them um, at real businesses. For example, we went to NatWest and did a presentation about marketing um, to them. And in German, um, the main skill was kind of working, again, in, in lots of group work and trying to decipher the language. Lots of skills, I think. Um, it's really hard to think about them independently. Um, definitely analytical skills and definitely writing skills and obviously um, just an ability to be able to um, I suppose answer things confidently, be able to extract data, to be able to um, yeah, use sources and use them to your advantage I suppose. Well, graphics are a perspective so how to look at things in a different way and how to sort of draw objects so I found that quite interesting. Um, history was more analytical, so I learned how to analyse situations and read into things in depth. Um, IT, I think I just learned a lot about the computers, I guess the other aspect of it, being at that age I just assumed computers were video games. So actually learning word systems and processing and back then it was literally old computers. So it was just how to really interact with them. Okay. And obviously French was, I guess, just struggling with a different language. I only went for French because of the fact that um, I thought it was more attractive than German, so we only had two choices, French or German. I found French more than attractive and with my West Indian background, my grandparents speak a broken French, a patois. So I think trying to speak that, I felt a bit of identity with that. And that really I liked all the subjects, they were all subjects that I was passionate about or that I enjoyed the teach, like, um, like other teachers have said, enjoyed the subject teachers, I thought they were good teachers. Um, in terms of skills, um, it's a difficult question. I think art, um, I suppose, I, I, don't, I, don't, I, I don't really see it as particularly 
I don't feel like I learned particularly to draw, write essays in history more than I did in a different subject. I just think at that stage I just enjoyed the subject. So no doubt I did pick up skills because I, you know, I passed GCSEs in them, but I couldn't really narrow down specific skills attached to particular subjects, I don't think. Um, I suppose just enjoying the lessons kind of gave me confidence in general and I suppose that's really what was important. That's what I take from it. Um, again, I've heard a couple of members of staff here. The, um, generally, I kind of, obviously, sporting skills, history and RE uh, were more the uh, written skills of evaluation and analysis, which obviously with my future choices um, of subjects and career have, uh, have helped me out quite a lot. But it, a lot of it was down to the things that I felt I could enjoy the most, to be honest. Okay, so at post-16, um, or back in the days, unfortunately, we didn't do three or four A-levels. We only did um, kind of a, a maximum of three and you'd only take on two. So I did two A-levels in business and one in sociology. I didn't choose to carry on with textiles and graphics because I used that more of a creative experience um, rather than um, something I was going to pursue at university. So I was thinking ahead. However, it doesn't mean that I wasn't using those skills um, in the other three A-levels that I did. We had to be very creative in business, um, in coming up with business ideas and in sociology and debating, um, etc. Um, I think because I was encouraged to do what I enjoyed, I think it left my post-16 options open for me. So I didn't really feel that I was heading anywhere particularly and it was all based on what my successes were and what I'd enjoyed at GCSE. So at post-16 I chose art, English literature and geography and I thought I was heading off to um, art college but decided at the last minute that wasn't really what I was going to be doing. Um, it actually didn't, funnily enough, because post-16 I went into subjects that actually wasn't, um, wasn't any of the ones I chose at Year 9. So post-16 I'd done business, economics and computing. So I guess the IT side led into computing. But with regards to the post-16, I think at the time I picked subjects I enjoyed. And being the fact that there wasn't as much choice, it was more which of these would I prefer. Um, so it didn't quite help me as much in that, so it wasn't more of a... I hadn't quite thought that far ahead how it was going to lead, whereas now we've got better advice with regards to choosing subjects that you know will lead to something. I think so all around then I really didn't have a clue what I wanted to be. Um, again, I had it difficult at post-16. Um, at GCC I just went for the subjects that I liked and that wasn't an issue. And then when a sort of career got involved, um, my parents were quite... I was always sort of Englishy and, art and arty, and I think my parents thought that sciences would be more um, better for me. And I'd done well at all of them at GCC, so I didn't, I could do what I wanted really. So I initially started at post sixteen with a couple of sciences, and then I just ended up dropping them and changing to do. Um, I think I changed. I did, I did chemistry because I loved chemistry, but I wasn't good at it. Um, I did chemistry and biology and I dropped them eventually and did history and biology but I always loved English, I just always loved English so I did English from the start anyway so um, so yeah so they, they didn't really make, they didn't have a massive impact the subjects, I just always went with what I enjoyed where I could until my parents sort of interfered and then that became an issue but yeah. Again um, I chose my post-16 choices um, because they were the subjects that I enjoyed the most. Um, I was lucky enough in that my parents were very supportive and wanted me to do the things that I wanted to do. I didn't really have any pressure put on me in terms of them, so I ended up doing government and politics, history, English literature and sociology as my um, post-16 options. And I suppose a lot of that stems back from uh, doing subjects such as history, which are all about you know evaluation and those written subjects that tend to occupy a, a shade of grey where there's no definitive answer uh, and that kind of led me off to choices at university and so on. Well, the other two that I really wanted to do either or would have been drama or music um, and I did, I did feel like I missed out on that um, but I mean those kind of things, especially music I pursue as a hobby at the moment anyway 
I just felt that those four options were going to take me on to what I'd like to do in the future, not only in my university, but I kind of knew at an early age I was going to be a business teacher, so I wanted to have the balance um, of that. No, not at all, I think, because I was encouraged to do what I enjoyed, and I think that's the most important aspect of it. My parents just said they were going to step back, they were going to let me choose, choose what you really enjoy, and my, my teachers were exactly the same, just do what you enjoy what you feel confident with and I think that's what's most important for everyone with their uh, choices. Um, yeah, I always wondered what if I'd done geography instead of history and maybe German instead of French just for the other aspect. Um, I didn't do as well in those two subjects I probably could have and maybe I might have chose those for the wrong reasons so maybe chose them because it might have been a teacher I might have enjoyed at that time but with options you never guaranteed to get the teacher you might have taught you in year seven, eight and nine. So that didn't quite play out the way it was. So if it was literally based on actual ability, maybe I should have gone for German because I probably was better at German than French, it being more similar to English. And with regards to the history, I actually probably enjoyed geography more. But with regards to the teacher, I really did enjoy my history teacher. So those are some of the things. And I also wish I could have had business. Business was there, but it was brand new. So I didn't quite choose business, and that's sort of the field I've been tracking since. So maybe having that in at year nine, doing that in 10, 11, would have added a new string to my bow, maybe put me at a better platform for actually doing that in uh, sixth form and college and university and leading on. No, I don't, I really don't. Um, because like I said, I keep saying it, I picked the subjects that I liked. So I didn't miss out on subjects I didn't like. I, you know, I just dropped them. Um, the only regret I have is that I did geography. I didn't. I don't think I got anything from geography, if I'm honest. I, I, I just don't. I don't know why I did it. Really, I suppose I wanted to go on field trips, but, um, but no, I don't. I really enjoyed the subjects I did at GCSE. Um, obviously, I loved English at GCSE, and uh, looking back, I, I had a, had a great time. I've always enjoyed English, so I don't regret the choices I made because I do believe that everything for a reason. You end up doing what you need to do anyway. So, I missed out on doing GCSE sociology, which is possibly the best option that you'll have the best choice uh, with the best teachers, the funniest teachers and the best looking teachers. Uh, reason for this is because my school didn't actually do sociology at GCSE but you are lucky enough at Preston Manor uh, that we do offer it at GCSE and it's uh, amazing so yeah good luck in your future choices.